In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can upscale images to 300 dpi, make them a bit clearer using Affinity 402. This also works exactly the same in Affinity 401. It might work in other software. I've not tried it. Although this video is made with the coloring book images that were generated with Mid Journey and Blue Willow in mind, you can use this technique on photographs or any other low res images you've got that you want to bring up to standard. It's not perfect, but it improves on what's there. I make videos on KDP very regularly. So if you're interested in all things KDP, please do like, comment and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. Now on with the video. This is the image that I generated in Mid Journey. If you haven't seen the videos where I use Mid Journey, feel free to go and watch them. This is a regular upscaled image. The upscale in Mid Journey upscales it to, I think, 1024 by 1024 if you are using a one by one ratio, like this is. It's just over a megapixel. Then there is a, a, a further upscale which it can do which increases the size to I think three megapixels but it, then it starts to you know not only rescale the image but it starts messing about with it and this is the you know, the next level upscale so it looks similar but you know to change a few different features here especially around the pot these eyes and the cheeks I'm not a fan of and this is the original so this image is fine and I've used it you know I've printed it out on A4 paper using a regular printer and it looks fine if you start to stretch it out a bit you know it, it will pixelate but personally I think it is fine it does come up at 72 dpi though which you know isn't great you want 300 really for print so what I'm going to do is take this image and resize it resample it and make it 300 dpi and I'm going to do that using Affinity Photo. So here is the image in Affinity Photo. As you can see as soon as you start scrolling you start to see it pixelate. And there are the details in the top left corner. I was right here. 1024 by 1024 1 1.05 megapixels. So what I'm going to show you now, we'll upscale the image. It's also something you can use in photos if you want to make your photos sharper and more clear. The first thing I'm going to do is uncheck, is unlock the image. And then we'll go to document, resize document. And this is where I'm going to change it to 300 dpi. So changing the DPI also changes the size and we're going to resample it using one of these five methods here. Now each one of these has a separate purpose. I'll quickly show you what those different purposes are. So here are a list of the resampling methods from the Affinity website. It basically the, the further down the list the better it becomes but it takes longer processing time. I'm not concerned with processing time and my computer can deal with pretty much everything at the minute. So I'm going to use this one here, Langsos 3. And I'll use non-separable because it gives marginally better results, but it's slightly slower. So here we are, the resample, I'll go for non-separable and make sure resample is clicked and then resize. So this is the new image. Now fundamentally nothing's changed as you're looking at it like this. I'll open the original as well just so you know. Just so you can see the differences when I zoom in. So this is the original here. I'll zoom into the eye because that's probably the most visible. And as you can see you get the eye to this size and you, you can see it's pixelating. 
Now again, I do want to stress, I've printed this out in A4, and you can't really notice the pixelation. It's not crisp, but it's not, it, it doesn't look like pixel art. And this is the same image once we've resized it. it took a couple of clicks, and it's a much smoother image. It's not perfect, it's not crisp, but it is a lot less pixely than this one here. Between the two. Now ignore the zoom level because the new picture is much bigger. We're not zooming in as far to get the eye to this big. So it makes it look crisper. There is one more thing I'm going to do to sharpen up the image as a whole. And that is to go to the live filters. And I'm going to run a high pass filter over it. Pull the radius up to a... This, this, just play with this. I'm going to do this about 9.9. .9. I've tried it with both monochrome ticked and monochrome left empty and nothing much has changed. I'm also going to change this blend mode to soft light. And again, play with the play with these settings as much as you want to whatever gives you the, the crisper image. And you're looking for quite a high contrast, so soft light will do for me though. And this is your finish upscaled image. I'll just export this in the normal way. So here is a side-by-side -side view of the two images. The right-hand side is the original without the resample or the high-pass filter. Left-hand side has all the magic done to it. Now I'm not going to pretend it's perfect, but it's certainly smoother than this pixelated edge here. So there we have it, just a quick video on how to upscale your images. I made this video with mid-journey colour and box in mind, but you can use it to upscale any image you want, photographs, if you've got a low res image that you've downloaded from somewhere and you want to sharpen it up a bit, use this exact process and you'll get, you know, in a few seconds you'll get a much crisper, much cleaner image. Obviously, it goes without saying, the higher the resolution image you start with, the less you've got to mess about doing things like this. But sometimes high res isn't always available to us. So thanks for watching. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can remove the grey background or the grey elements of the images to make a, a black and white colouring book image. This image is a, a grey background here. I'm going to remove the grey background and, you know, just make it more appropriate for a colouring book image. And the method I use there, you know, you can use it to get rid of grey interiors as well. So, you know, it works well. I'll show you that in the next video. So thanks for watching and I shall see you next time.